Accounting is rarely the most exciting part for anyone who started a business, but especially if your business is a service business where you're typically out in the field. For most business owners, it's the thing you have to do. So if you're like me, you want to put as much of it on autopilot as possible while making sure everything is accurate so you don't get into hot water with the tax overseers, which is probably why you've clicked on this video. Don't worry, you're in the right place. Hey everyone, it's Joe and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share three of the current best cloud-based accounting software that's a great fit for service businesses. And while I do personally use QuickBooks for my own business, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best for everyone. Each has a fit depending on your preference and specific business situation. So whether you're looking to move from an Excel sheet or switch from another accounting software, We'll do a high level overview showcasing each of these and what situation or business type each one might be a good fit for. And as always, as a quick preface, regardless of my reviews in this video, there's absolutely no replacement to seeing or trying out the platforms yourself, especially since they all have free trials. Technology evolved so quickly that many of the points that we've highlighted in this video may have changed in the months after I posted it. So definitely stay up to date. So if you're in the market and looking at new systems, I'll have the platforms posted along with any offers that I found in the description below or a list updated regularly on my website by industry at rehash.tech slash home hyphen services. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Most people usually start looking for an accounting software with the question, what is the best accounting software for a small business? which might be why you found this video. However, the better question to ask is, which accounting software is the best for my small business? Every business is different, but regardless of what you do, you need a way to track your books. You need to keep track of your income, revenue, profits, expenses, bills, contractors, and even employees. There are so many things that you need to keep track of, and these requirements vary from business to business. Now, like with any software, it's something you can do manually or even using free software. But as your business grows, the more valuable your time becomes and the more it's going to be worth automating these processes so you can focus on growing the business instead of doing admin. Not to mention being able to do accounting properly is incredibly important so that you have a good lens of your business health. You need to be able to track all of your expenses and know exactly how much actual profit you're making. Oftentimes, for smaller businesses, you might have good revenue, meaning money is coming in, but it might not actually be profitable because you're not keeping track of all the expenses or the bills and the money that's going out. And as the saying goes, cash flow is king. You definitely need to have all of this in order, and you need to understand that proper and accurate accounting is incredibly important for any business, but especially if you want to avoid an excruciating tax season, or worse, a tax audit. But to make sure we're all on the same page, there is a difference between accounting and bookkeeping. Bookkeeping focuses on recording and organizing financial data, including tasks like invoicing, your billing, payroll, and reconciling your transactions. While accounting is the interpretation and presentation of that financial data, including aspects like taxes, auditing, and analyzing performance. But when we say accounting software, it's usually used as a catch-all term that covers one or both. If this is new to you and you want to keep learning about business and tech that can help you grow your business, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell so you don't miss any of this content. I'm pretty sure very few business owners, much like myself, actually like doing accounting, and that's where software comes into play. The right software makes sure you're tracking everything coming in and going out of your business, and the better the software, the less work you have to do while maintaining the right level of accuracy. The most important question to ask here is how much is your time worth compared to what you're looking to pay for a software provider? So I'll be going over only the three best options that I've found that covers maybe 80 to 90% of the different types of businesses out there, depending on your industry and your specific bookkeeping needs. But this video is primarily focused on service-based businesses. First up is QuickBooks probably the name most business owners know and that you would expect to be on this list, and also one that many business owners have said can be expensive. 
Well, even after seeing a lot of the accounting softwares out there, I still decided it was worth the money for my own small business because the mental math of how much this platform saves me in time and energy is significantly less than what I am paying for it per month. My biggest point with QuickBooks though is that because it's so common, it integrates with virtually every system that needs to input data into your books. If you watch my top four software for service businesses that I'll link to over here, you'll know all of these systems handle a lot of financial data, including quotes, invoices, and maybe even payroll. And some like Service Titan also do complex materials and inventory costing and tracking. So you'd want an accounting software or platform that those can integrate into so you don't have to do any manual imports or exports or worse, manual data entry. This is part of the reason that it's more expensive than other options since these integrations typically require continuous maintenance. Your payback though is a seamless workflow and processes that oftentimes you don't even need to touch until tax time. You can use QuickBooks not only for your bookkeeping, but you can also use it as an invoicing or quoting platform for your jobs, as well as pay your contractors, your employees, and even send out 1099s for Americans or T4s for Canadians. Keep in mind, there are different versions of QuickBooks though, so make sure to note which version you have that has what functionality in the links below. The most common is QuickBooks Online, which is what I'll talk about in this video. You can get started with QuickBooks for as little as 15 to 20 bucks a month. And in fact, they have even free trials and some discounts depending on the time of year. So I'll make sure that those are also in the description below or in my site that I update regularly with the most recent offers. The downside with QuickBooks is that as you scale, it gets more expensive rather quickly compared to the others on this list. Yes, it may start off for free or be only $15 or $20 per month, but as soon as you start growing your business to the six or seven figure level, it's going to start costing some businesses over a hundred per month for their highest tier, plus, plus, plus any add-on modules you might need as your financial complexity grows. All that said, they are a reliable company, so they're not going to go out of business and your financial data with them. And also since they've been around for so many years, they have so many people that use them that you can easily find accountants and bookkeepers to manage your books for you on the platform once you get established and as you decide to outsource. And guaranteed, one of the things you are definitely going to delegate at some point as your business grows is accounting. When you do this, you want to be personally able to look at the report yourself, like your P&L or your balance sheet as the business owner, but the day-to-day -day bookkeeping and accounting, you want to be able to delegate to another person. And you need to have the software that most professionals know how to use. QuickBooks is the most popular one. Oftentimes people think about delegating though, because they don't know where to start and spend thousands of dollars outsourcing every single year as a result. But more often than not, it's as simple as learning the right ways to do it. So as a quick shout out, my personal accountant friend, Jamie has a course called chill books that will help you learn and use QuickBooks the right way. So you don't necessarily need to outsource right away if you know how to use the software properly. So if you're a solo printer looking to simplify your finances using QuickBooks, check out chill books as well in the description below. But if you absolutely do need to delegate, QuickBooks is known by so many different companies that it's really easy to find a person to do your books for you without having to search for someone high and low that has niche software expertise, which is probably the biggest benefit of using QuickBooks. So it's definitely a great option, but if you're looking at a more cost-effective option, especially if you have a much simpler and lower volume business, then our next software might be the better fit. But before that, if you like this video so far and like staying up to date with technology and advice that can help you grow your business, you can help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button, which helps us spread these videos to help other small business owners out. And now onto our cost effective option, FreshBooks. FreshBooks is relatively new, but it's definitely gaining traction pretty quickly, specifically to serve the cost conscious segment of the small business market, particularly in startup service businesses that have pretty simple accounting needs. If your needs are small or if you're transitioning from an Excel or Google sheet and you're not planning to grow too quickly, then this is likely your best option. While all the three accounting software that we're talking about today are designed for small business owners, small business as a category is still fairly broad where you can have a five man company making 10 million a year in high value consulting or e-commerce or a 10 man team that's making less than a million a year. 
However, the majority of small business owners, according to both US and Canadian statistics, are actually solopreneurs. And our needs are very unique that I actually have a separate page for them on my website, since the software that caters to us are very different from team-based businesses. FreshBooks is the accounting software that caters to that lower end of the service business market. It's a pretty full-featured accounting software that doesn't cost as much as QuickBooks, but it definitely has less functionality than a more complex business might find annoying or a deal breaker down the road. These are things like bank reconciliation or a global search function across all of your transactions and even specific reporting capabilities. Or the one I personally couldn't live without is automatic transaction matching. So if you use a separate bank card for your business, it can automatically pull all of those transactions into QuickBooks and you just need to tag and categorize them for your expenses so you don't miss a single deduction. None of these are available in FreshBooks as of this recording. Now, of course, none of these features matter if you don't do a high volume of transactions or expenses in the first place, and if it doesn't take you a ton of time. And if that's the case, then FreshBooks is a more cost-effective, cleaner, and simpler option to use for your business. Also, FreshBooks is becoming very popular and is gaining a lot of market share, so you should be able to find someone that's at least able to use your FreshBooks accounting software very similar to how accountants and bookkeepers use QuickBooks. So as long as the complexity of your financials don't grow too much, FreshBooks stays cost effective as you scale your business since it runs on a very different pricing structure than QuickBooks. And lastly, when it comes to integrations, while QuickBooks quotes over 750 integrations at last count, FreshBooks only has a little over than 100. But again, if you're using one of those 100 and not one of the other 650, then that doesn't matter either. So definitely make sure you confirm if your business software has integrations with the accounting systems you're looking at in the links below. That said, while some businesses need a simpler platform, others are on the complete opposite end of that spectrum and need something more complex, especially larger service businesses. And if that's the case, our final accounting software is Zero, And that's Zero with an X, X-E-R-O. Zero is another great company that has a lot of the same capabilities as QuickBooks, but because software is divided into specific features for specific price points, on average, Zero's capabilities in their lower to mid tiers are generally cheaper than QuickBooks. But as a disclaimer, this is a large generalization depending on what features you actually need. This is where the biggest complexity of choosing any software comes into play because you need to balance out the cost and the functionality not just with what you need today, but what you're planning to grow into in the future. Because vendors split features into different categories, it always makes sense to create a checklist of features that are most important to you now, as well as in the future, and make sure they're actually in the packages and price points that you're looking at and that you're gonna grow into. I'll be making another video in the future on how to easily make these checklists to improve your business with software. And I'll also have some free templates coming up soon. So check out my website if they're up by the time you watch this. That said, the details matter. And generally comparing QuickBooks and Xero, if you haven't used either before, is a matter of hands-on experience. Now, personally, I think Xero is a bit more complex from a user experience perspective, but according to reviews online, Zero tends to have a little bit more people that actually think it has a better interface. So besides having a look at these platforms yourself, here's two of the key situations you definitely want to consider Zero over QuickBooks. Number one, if you're planning to scale very quickly. The cost structure of Zero tends to be better at larger tiers while still being cheaper but slightly less featured on their lower tiers. And number two, if you do any international business, which is definitely rare in the service industry, but not impossible, and yes, that includes cross-border business like between the US and Canada, but especially overseas with multiple currencies, zero tends to outshine in international accounting over QuickBooks. But again, one or two features is not a replacement for seeing the solution yourself, so definitely check them out with the latest offers in the links in the description below or on my website and definitely do at least a trial or a demo of at least two of the platforms yourself. So as a quick summary, QuickBooks tends to be the mama bear option that caters to most businesses. Even if their price point is slightly higher, the value for most businesses is there, especially with their integrations and with other systems. FreshBooks is great for the cost conscious business, maybe more casual ones that aren't looking to grow as quickly or 
don't have as complex accounting needs. And zero is for the up and coming business that has aggressive growth plans or established businesses that also sell to or operate outside of North America. And that's it. Hopefully this video helped you out. And if it did, please hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest business tech, hit that subscribe button as well. And please do let me know in the comments below if you've given any of these a shot and your personal review on any of these accounting systems so it can help other businesses out that watch this video and help me update this review again for the future. And with that, I hope all of your businesses grow and becomes incredibly successful and I firmly believe technology will be a critical part of that journey. This is Joe signing out and with that, I'll see you all in the next one.